Hey guys, welcome to RPA Feed. In our last video, we have discussed Python for RPA developers. Like we listed the reasons why RPA developers should learn Python, right? If you are uh, still figuring out that, then you can watch uh, our previous video to know the reasons why Python is beneficial for an RPA developer. In this video, as promised, we will be talking about the steps to learn Python from an RPA developer point of view. So if you are an RPA developer, you are at the right place. And if you want to learn Python, here are some steps which you can follow. First of all, start by learning the basic concepts of Python. How, uh, whatever we do in a, while learning a new programming language or while learning a new skill, we focus on basics. Basics are there to stay long and they are um, not going to change, right? So you need to stick to the basics. So start learning by basic concepts such as data types, variable, loop, control structure, to name a few. There are many online resources and tutorials available that can really help you to get started with Python. I'll also try to mention a few of them uh, in the description section. You can check it out. If you are someone who likes to read uh, or follow a, a course, uh, like uh, if you are someone who enjoy learning from a course material where you can track yourself uh, track your progress then i'll recommend few courses as well which you can have a look at then once you learn the basics then practice guys practice makes you perfect uh, while watching the videos while learning or reading through the tutorials you might find uh, while uh, learning through the blogs you might find that you know each and everything right it's easy but uh, the actual test happens when you start writing on the uh, ID uh, on your integrated development environment or whatever uh, uh, the coding editor is, the code, uh, whatever code editor is. If you are provided with some uh, 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 problem and you want to code it in Python, that's actual, uh, that's where your actual test starts. So practice writing small programs. I, you can, you can join lead code or hacker rank to just uh, practice few of the easy uh, medium kind of problems along with your learning so that will help to give you hands-on knowledge of writing code so you can use online platforms like repl.it repl.it or python's built-in idle right to run and test your code so that's where your practice will happen once you get the basic concept of python so once you're comfortable with these basics you can move towards more advanced topics such as object-oriented programming, modules and file handling to name a few. Then you can uh, raise the bar and move towards asynchronous programming, uh, the generators, the uh, class level, module level uh, coding standards. So that's how you learn the advanced once you're comfortable with the basic concepts and get the hands-on of writing the programs. It's also a good idea to familiarize yourself with Python libraries that are commonly used in RPA, such as PyAuto GUI and PyWinAuto. So these are two of such libraries which are mostly used in automation. Along with that, you can also use, uh, also, uh, also learn few of the uh, famous libraries uh, which pro Python provides related to Excel operations, uh, related to system operations, right? So that also you can follow. Finally, try to work on a real world project to apply your skill and see how Python can be used in RPA development. You can also consider joining online communities or forums where you can ask questions and get the feedback from fellow Python developers. So these are the five steps, five step process which you can follow. Uh, just to recap it quickly, learn the basics, practice writing your programs, move towards advanced topic once you're comfortable with these two, then learn the uh, learn or get familiarize yourself with Python libraries that are commonly used in automation. Then do some real time projects where you, along with your RPA solution, you inject Python code and uh, solve some problem, solve some use case, right? So that's all, guys. Uh, uh, if you want to learn Python, if you are an RP developer and thinking towards learning Python and moving, uh, getting an edge over. Uh, your career so thank you all for listening uh, if you like this video please share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to the channel thanks for watching